Yeah, so good afternoon. Yeah, today now I want to discuss a topic in a final management. Yeah, because uh, last time we were having some revision and I saw some questions in final management. So I want to discuss now final management. And in final management, you're supposed to be knowing what is a file, what are the types of files, what are the types of files, types of computer files, yeah, what you call types of data processing files, then still you discuss organization and the types of what final file organization and the benefits of having what organization method within what an organization organization. Still, another objective of this topic is supposed to know the various file operations, for example, deleting a file, updating a file, a file. So that is what you're supposed to cover. Just what file organization. Yeah, because I was I was able to see some questions in the past papers. I look, okay, you had covered this with, with, with Mr. Uma, but I was able to see some questions. So now let us start with the definition of the word what of the word file. Because a brief noun, the term file is not known new to you. The term for organization is not something new to you. Whenever you talk about a file, this is a collection of digital records that give a complete sort of information, a collection of digital records that give a complete set of information about what? A certain item or a entity. Remember, the records within a computer that are kept in the form of what? Of files. You have said that a file is a collection of digital records that give complete set of information about what? A certain item or a certain a entity. Now you can store a file manually or you can store that file electro electronically. But in our case now we've been dealing with storing the information electronically or the records within what a computer in an organization. In case we have, in case we have a 100 employees, in case we have a record of 100 employees, these employees we must be having some attribute. For example, the record of that employee must be having the employee first name, the same same record must be having the employee last name, can be having the employee ID number, and be having maybe the employee date of birth. So this is the information about what a file. So all these records they are deleted. Or for example, the employee first name, the employee ID number, the employee date of birth, these are records related to the what to the employee. And you have still this information is kept in form of a what? In form of a file. That this information is kept in the form of file. So for those people who are able to join at this time, we are discussing for organization. Can see Hamza is now Hamza. Yes. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, so we are discussing about for organization. Yeah, for organization, mm -hmm. and we have already started. With, so we have started by defining the term. What the term? Maybe they can, they can repeat for the sake of these people. Who, are, who have joined us now? Let me just repeat because you can see when we have writers who has joined us. Let me just repeat. We have said that a file is that collection of what of the data records that give a complete piece of information about what a certain entity. Now, I've said, for example, in case we have a, maybe an employee, we have a record pertaining the employee, we have a record pertaining the employee within the organization, we can have some attributes or Characteristic of that word, of that record. For example, an employee date of birth, you can have employee first name, employee ID. This is the that is related to So that is an example of a word of the NFC we call electronic or computerized file. That is what we call file. Now, actually, Computerized storage offers a much better way of holding the information than manual filing. For example, in the manual filing, the information was kept in the form of, of manual files. And these files, they were, they were stored in the, in the cabinet, these files. And you know, in case you're having these files, they took a lot of space. Just imagine, in case you're having 1,000 employees, you must be having 1,000. Maybe, for example, each, each employee has a file. Traditionally, we must be having what 1,000 files. And remember, these files have to be stored in the cabinet. So this is the pair of files. Under the limitation of uh, those files, someone could access the information at him. So, and other people could access the information. There was no integrity. Why? Still, the information could be monitored 
the information could be modified very, very easily. Now, what are the advantages now of having that electronic file or having that computerized file? What are the benefits? One of the benefits is that uh, it enhances integrity. It enhances what? Inte integrity. It limits people or people who are not supposed to know that information cannot view that information. These people cannot alter the information. The information in that file is correct and accurate. That is what you call data integrity. It enhances that integrity. Remember what is integrity? Integrity, it is assured as that uh, the information is correct and accurate. The information is what? Correct and accurate. That is one of the benefits of having what? That electronic file. Another advantage is it enhances what we call confidentiality. It enhances confidentiality. Confidentiality, confidentiality is the assurance can only be accessed by the legitimate personnel, personnel. That information cannot be viewed by a third party. So it enhances confidentiality. Confidentiality is able to enhance what? Confidentiality. Confidentiality. Another benefit of having this file. It reduces duplication. It reduces or duplicate, duplication, or sometimes we call redundancy. In the in the manual file, in the manual file, there is a way employees information could be repeated. For example, in two files. But now once we have that that information cannot be what cannot be duplicated. that system we use what you call a primary key. And remember what is a primary key. This is a key that is able to distinguish or uniquely uniquely identify or distinguish each and every record in a word in a table. But now in the file, we have what that primary key. So to come on at that point. Any question of that point? Any question, Hamza? Someone write another question of that point? Any question? No, no. So, yeah, are you able to understand some of the some of the benefits of having that electronic file? Yeah, it, it enhances confidentiality, reduces duplication. Yeah, that is good. I can see it together. That is good. Samza, what about Samuel? Are you able to get the points? Samuel? Yeah, maybe can post it now. Now, another of having uh, the computerized filing system or that tunnel, it takes less. The information. For example, in case you have one thousand one thousand records, well, if the information is kept in contact, we'll just say, for example, the ID number or just type, and then you know the information is what is retrieved from the database or from that computer computer. So information takes less time to be accessed and less what space space. Still, the last benefit it is easier to update or modify the information. The information is easier to update or to modify the information information. In case now, for example, maybe when you are recording the information, you made a mistake with the first name of a certain individual. You don't have to retrieve the file and just use the white out. In your case now, you have access to the file electronically, then we just modify the edit that comes for the for the first name, then that information is what is updated, is updated. So this form some of the benefits of having the form some of the benefits some of the benefits of having a computer is what? Huh? File. Now, what are the elements of a file? What are the elements of a file? What are the elements of a what of a file? Now we have three main elements in a file. There is what you call characters, we have fields, and we have what left records. Yeah, characters, fields, and what and left and records. They are so we are discussing the elements, of the, the, yeah, yeah, the elements of a file. We are discussing mm -hmm. the elements of a file. And you have said we, we have three main the result you call we have the we have the characters, we have the field, and we have what the the records. So one element is what you call a character. You have the first element, you have a car, a character. What is the first element? The car, the character. And now there's a character. A character, this is the small element in a computer file. The smallest element in a computer file it is the smallest element now in a computer file. And now the entail we have done 
we can have the numbers or we can have a symbol that can be so the smallest element in a file we have seen example can have a letter can have a number or still we can have a symbol that it is stored in the computer in the computer that is what we call a character the smallest element in a word in a computer the computer you have said it can be stored in the computer computer then the second element is what we call a field a field a field. field, field. You see, I've just said we have what you know a field, yeah, a field, yeah. We have a, a field. Now, what is a field? A field, in simple terms, correction. Or these are several characters which has been which have been combined to get together. So, a field is a collection of characters that have been so to get together. A collection of characters that have been so to get together. In a good example of a field, the student admissions number is an example of a word of a field. Yeah, state an example is a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamza, are you able to hear me very well now? So, yeah, 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 yeah. It has in zero. That is okay. So the next mm. element is what we call a record. The next element is what we call a record. So what is a record? Now, for example, in case you combine several fields, you form a record. So, so a record. This is a question of the fields that represent single entities, collection of the fields that represent single. Yes? It is a collection of? We are saying related fields, related fields. Let me just put that information or put that information. Uh, uh, so I was taking notes, that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah, yeah, it is okay. Let me just, let me just, let me just post it for you. If you're able to see. Is it, can you see it? I, have, I think I've just pasted yeah, yeah, a record. Yeah. Just ignore that. Yeah. I've already posted something here. So that is what you call a, mm -hmm. a record. A collection of little fields that represent what single A entries. The movie is it, I feel this one. But now we have several what? Several fields. For example, in a record, we're going to be having student admission number. We can be having student first name. We can be having student B statement. No, not B statement. Student ID number. We can be having student marks. So all these fields, they form what? Are a record. And you realize all these fields, they are common. They are related. Is it true? Are they related? Are they related? Yeah, yeah. In first name, student ID now, they are related, they are related. That is what we call a, re a record. So these are the three main elements in a what in a file. The three main elements in a file. Any question on that? Any question before I proceed? Any question before I proceed? Yes, any question before I proceed? Yeah, how many question? I guess I guess I don't have any question because any I'm question? just taking notes. That is okay. What about in Zioka? Any question? In Zioka, any question? So we can proceed. Now I want to discuss now. of files the two made that is not called the logical and you have what the physical files we have files Mm -hmm. 
is viewed in terms of what data in terms of what data item it contains. That is what you call a logical conceptual logical file. It is viewed in terms of like the it does not contain information like the data type. It does not contain information like size and file type. It does not contain this information, this information. So that is what you call a logical file. It is conceptual. Understood. Question? No, Malim. That is okay. So then we have what we call the physical file. After the logical file, we have what we call the physical file. We have the physical what file. So as opposed to the logical file, a physical file it is viewed in terms of how data is stored on a storage media. It is viewed in terms of how data is stored now in a storage media. So for this physical file, it can contain information like the data type it can it can contain information like the size it can contain the file type so that is the major difference it is a v terms of so the media Framework of the whole of that information information and that is what you call a physical. So don't worry about the notes. I post the Hamza. Mm. Yes, sir. Make it make it now. Now, Zoka, make it somewhere. Make it Yeah, you are now. You are clear, but it it keeps oh. on breaking the voice. Oh, let me just. Say. Let me just take the problem. Just a minute. Proceed. Now, uh, the next section I want to discuss now the types of computer files. I want to discuss what they call types of computer types. We say the classification we have to. We have what we call the logical files. We have the logical files. And we have, we have what we call the physical files. But now we have other classification. We have what we call we have the types of computer file, and the first one is what we call a document or documents. And I know you have seen these documents in the computer. So let me ask uh, Yoka, what are documents according to you? I think you have seen them. For example, in the case that you just open the desktop, the desktop the computer, you can see the documents. So what are, let me ask Yoka. Yoka, what are these documents according to you? Yoka, Yoka, what are documents according to you? Zioka? Zioka, what are documents according to you? Or Samuel, what are these documents according to you? In a computer, we have documents, and you have said they represent the computer files. So, Samuel, what are these documents according to you? What are documents according to you? Samuel, what are documents according to you? What are documents according to you? So, so whenever we hear about the term documents, the term documents, these are the files which can be exemplified by using what a text editor. Or these are the files that you can open using what a text editor. For example, you can have uh, some documents can be created or they can be opened by using what Microsoft Microsoft Word. The same same documents can be opened using what you call an Word. The same same documents they can be opened using what you call an Excel. So these can be exemplified by using what a text a editor. You have to consider what the first file. That is the first word computer file. The door the documents. The second we have what you call the program files. We have what you call the Program files, and I think everyone has seen this one. You have, you have, you have laptop. And then we have installed some programs or some other, some applications. So they, they the program files. So this is the pilot. The program files. We can be what execute, execute like them. 
let me just illustrate one let me just illustrate one i should let me illustrate one but i but i believe you know what is execution for example in the case you have a software like um, like for iso to burn a document or to burn a software or you want to burn a certain or you want to burn for example maybe you want to burn a movie you can use what you call the power iso so that software is execute executable File a file which is execute executable. Then there is what you call the file standard. I'm not going to I think you have seen the registry file. These are the system files. So these are the files which you don't use, but they must be on your computer for it to function very, very well. You don't use them, but they must be on that computer for you for the computer to function what very Question. Any question? Any question on that? Or any clarification? Any question? I can see the chat is typing. Any question? Maybe now we can proceed. We can proceed. So apart from the system files, there is what we call the multimedia files. The multimedia files. We have the multimedia files. So these are the files. These are the files. Like for example, you can have uh, the music. You can have uh, the audio files in your computer. See, you can have the. So you have. You can have the video files. You can have what the audio files. They represent what you call the multimedia files. They have an extension dot, for example, dot mp4. You can have a dot flv. These are multimedia files. Then the last four file is what you call the archive files. The archive files. We have the archive. And what is to archive? To archive is to store some information. So these are the files that compromise that comprise of what the folders, the backups, and what. Other types of what are archives. They represent information stored in the computer. In the computer. For example, in the case of the computer, when it is, for example, the hard disk breaks or the hard disk is deleted or the crashes or the fails, you can use the information from using what a backup. That is a what an archive file. Somewhere else where you have stored the information, the information. So these are the five types of what computer files. The five types of what computer files. So that was the classification of all the types of computer files. Then the same same computer files they can be categorized based on what data process processing. So you can have another classification of these files. So classification or the types of computer based on what data process processing. Let me just save that for you. And we can have now types of computer. Data processing files, types of computer, the processing files. Any question on that point before I proceed? Any question? So the first one is what we call a master file. So we have the first one, a master file, the first one. Is the first one a master file? And you know what is a master file? In Zioka, what is a master file according to you? In Zioka, what is a master file according to you? Donald, what is a master file according to you? Or Samuel, what is a master file? Samuel, what is a master file?
or Hamza, what is the master file according to you? What is the master file? Master file? Yeah, according to you. Uh, I don't, I actually don't know what I'm for it. Yeah, I can see Guy has something, he has said that uh, it is somebody that has many details. That is good. That is good to take us. What about someone? What is the master file? So whenever we talk about a master file, this is a mm -hmm. file that contains the main content. Together, it contains permanent records about particular items of entries. It contains what permanent records or details about what particular items and what or what or, or, or entries. For example, in an organization, we can have a customer file. This customer file may contain information like what the customer name. It may contain the customer ID number. It may contain the customer contact address. That is what we call a master file. A file that contains permanent records about a particular item or a particular entity. I've just given an example of a customer file that can contain the customer ID number, the customer address, and we have what the customer ID it is. That is what we call a master file. Any question about a master file? So it, it contains the permanent record about particular identity. Yeah, particular and particular items or entries. So together, particular items or what or yeah, entries. Yeah, yeah, we have given yeah. an example of a, of a customer file. Then there is what we call a transaction file. We have the second transaction file. We have transaction. We have what we call a transaction file. Yeah, what is the transaction file now? Transaction file. Who knows what is the transaction file? Maybe a file that you can a file yes. that you can store something then a file that you can you can store something but not permanently. You can remove them. Mm, not necessarily, maybe maybe another gesture. Yeah? Not necessarily because they have uh -huh. explained like it is not the opposite of the master file. Who can explain that transaction mm -hmm. file? That transaction, but it's that is a good gesture. Uh, maybe I will explain it with the word of transaction. Yeah, explain, explain, explain. Just like transaction is removing something, you know, or uh, to transact yes. something. Yeah, transact something is to remove some, is to remove something from somewhere. Yeah, that is a good guess. I can see half by uh, out of two, you could have at least one. I think that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Someone is correct. But someone is correct. So when we talk about a transaction file, together, this is a file that is used to do what? To hold data during transaction process processing. Still, you can use the same same file to update with the master file. You have said it can be used to hold information pertaining what the trans transaction. Still, you have to use what you call transaction file to update with the master file. So there is no organization that we have the master file and we must you have what the transaction file. And maybe for example we can have an it's example. File. It, is it is used to hold the information during transaction processing. It is, it is used to hold the information during transaction process processing. And we have said it is used to update the master file. This is to update with the master file. And for example, we can be having, for example, in the supermarket, we can be having a transaction file. For example, maybe all those items, for example, in, the, in terms of stock, we have those items which have been bought and those items which are remaining, which are remaining in, the, in the, the store. So you can use that file now to update with the master file. So at the end of the month, we can see that uh, in the store we are having 20 items. But ten have been sold. How many are remaining? Ten. You can use what? That that mechanism. That what transaction file. And sometimes it is called what the movement file. It's called the movement file. Then you have the reference file. That one you have what? The reference file. We have this. You have the next the reference what file. That is another file. We have the reference file.
from the word reference is the Mizot to look up. So this is a file that is used to look up for certain information, or this is a file that is used for look up for purposes. For it's example, it is a file that is used for reference or look up purposes. For reference or look up purposes. I've just given an example. For example, in a point, point of sale, in a POS. In a POS now, all the items, they have what they call the item code. They have what all the item code. For example, in that system, it is sometimes it is unable to scan the code in that item. So what do you do? You have to key in manually the information. The information. Have you ever seen a supermarket? For example, maybe you have bought a loaf of bread. But once they scan using the biometric, that reader, the information cannot, cannot be gained in the computer. So what they do? They have somewhere, they have somewhere, they have, they have somewhere, they have, they have the reference to those codes. So they just confirm the codes and they keep in, in the compute, the computer, right together. That is what you call a reference file, right together. Understood? So have you understood the yeah. reference file? Then there is what you call yeah, a yeah, yeah. file. We have a backup file, a backup file. And this one is self-explanatory. Who have not also today? Maybe uh, Nzioka. Nzioka. What is the backup file according to you? From the word backup. What is a backup file? Nzioka. What is the backup file? Nzioka, what is the backup file? So whenever you, whenever you talk about the backup file, it is used to hold copies of data information on the computer's fixed store storage. And I give an example. For example, you have your, your computer here. You must provide a backup. In case now the hard disk crashes, you can restore back the information, the information. So you must be having a backup file somewhere. This backup can be remote rate, remote backup. This backup can be an online backup. Yes. Yeah. This used to hold? It is used to hold copies of data or information. It is used to hold copies of data or information from the computer's fixed storage. And you have said, for example, in the case your hard disk crashes, you must have provided a backup to restore the information. And you have said, we can be using a local backup, we can be using a remote backup, you can be having an online backup or a cloud backup. So that now you can restore back the information. That is what you call a backup file. Then you have a report file. That is what you call you have a report file. You have what you call the report file. The next is what you call the report file. You have the report file. For this one, there is no you can be having a report file unless you have what a master file. So it is used to store the permanent records extracted from the master file. It is used to obtain the permanent records extracted from the master file. Yeah. And now for this report now they can be they can be generated either monthly or what or we or weekly. Yeah. Used to store permanent records extracted from the master file. And the last one is what you call the sort file. We have sort file. Sort. Yeah, sort. Yeah. To analyze or you separate or you analyze the database of note different catalytic sort. S O R T. Mm. They have the sort file. For this one, it is able to store data, which is either organized in a particular order. For example, in case you have organized your data in a certain order or a descending order, that is what you call a sort file. So the information or the data within that record, it is organized sequentially, either a certain order or by descending. That is what you call a sort file. The information of data is stored sequentially using particular order. That is what you call a sort file. Any question on that? We are through with the type of files based on what data process, processing. We still have a master file, 
you have a transaction file, a reference, backup, report and hold, and a sort file. So that I show you a sort, a sort file. Let me ask you some question. Samuel, what is a reference file, Samuel? What is a reference file? Samuel, what is a reference file? It's a file used for lookup purposes. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, that is correct. What about the tag? It does. What is the transaction file or that movement file? Yeah, some of that is correct somewhere. It does. What is a master file? It does. It does. I'm weak. I want to see the feedback. Okay, I'll be out. Yeah, I'm waiting for the response from Peter. I can see he's typing. This is that response. Yeah, that is correct uh, from Peter. That is a file that contains the record. From, yeah, even something that is correct. Yeah, what about now? What is the report file, Hamza? What is the report file, Hamza? A report file, a report. It is used, it is, it is used to obtain permanent records extracted from the master file. That is, that is correct. So I can see now, I can see now we are together in, in this class. Now I want to go to a different subsection now. I want to discuss something we call the file access method. We have what we call the file access me method. File access method. And we have two main file access methods. There is what we call the sequential access, and there is what we call the direct access access. So this is what we call the file access method. The file access method. And this is what we call the sequential. The sequential password. Sequential. 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 From the word sequential. Sequential from the one sequence. Sequential from the one word se sequence. Now for this one, the file or the records are accessed one after the other. The files or the records are accessed or one after the other. For example, in case you have 10 records, in case you have 10 records in that file, and you want to obtain records them, there is no way you can go directly to record seven. Start from one. We, we, we check whether that is the file in record one, record two, and we put record seven, seven. So the record are accessed one after the other. You just see a screen diagram. It is creating the sequential access method. How we can obtain information sequentially one after the other. Let me just share a screen. Let me show you the diagram. Let me just show you diagram. In the screen, I want to illustrate or to do a diagram of the it is loading, it is loading. Yeah, are you able to see it? Are you able to see it? And it's a diagram. Diagram. Yeah, there's a diagram I'm sharing. Are you able to see it on the screen? No. Let me just share, uh, let me just share once more.
Yeah, I'm going to change the diagram once more. Yeah, can you see the, can you see the diagram now? Can you see it? Now, can you see the sequential access now? In case, for example, we have uh, this part here. We have this part here. Can you see you have record one, record two, record three, record seven? In the case now, the computer was accessing the information from record six. There is no way the computer or the mm -hmm. CPU can access that information directly. It has to mm -hmm. start from one, it go to two, to three, two record. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. So yeah, I, think, I hope you have understood the sequential access. Information is accessed one after the other. Any question on that? That is the password access method. Sequential access. Any question? Then the second is what is called the direct access. We have this, the second. Direct. The direct. Direct, direct, we have the direct. Or the other. Direct access of what we call the random access access. Now, what happens in this one? The information is accessed randomly. You don't have to start from record one. In the case now, the, the record is in record seven. For that document is in record seven, the computer system unit or the CPU accesses that information direct directly. That is what you call a lot of direct access method. Let me just show you. You put that this one. Now, can you see this one? Can you see the difference between? If you look at this diagram, now, now this, what you can see. If you look at the random now, we are obtaining the record or the file directory without, without following any procedure. procedure. Just go direct, the computer can obtain that directly. You don't have to confirm the information from part A or part B. That information is accessed directly. That is what we call the random access method. In most organizations, the information or information that is accessed what is the mode random access. Yeah, I hope you can see that now. Any question? I hope you can see the difference between the two. The question on the random. Because in an exam scenario, you can be requested to explain the difference between what? the question. direct volume. You have said the direct is also called what the random. The information is accessed direct directly. You don't have to obtain or use a certain procedure to obtain the information of one after the other. You have to obtain the information randomly. These are the two main ways. Method. Any way other way. Any question? Please proceed. Any question? I'm going to wait. Any question? Data. Any question? The, the, the direct the information is accessed yeah. is obtained randomly. Yeah, randomly one direct or randomly you don't have to process any procedure together. You don't have to go the proceed procedure. And the direct access oh. is even faster. It's even more fast faster. Yeah, then what is the quick sequential? That is even faster. The sequential follows one after the other. Yeah, one after the other, one after the other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I want to discuss now that the file. Essential method. Essential method. 
the first option. I hope you can hear me very clearly. There is what we call a serial. Yeah, yeah. And now, it's open in my network. I hope you can hear me clearly now. My, am I audible? Now you are, now I can hear you. Yeah, I had a problem with my network. There is what we call the serial. We uh, have the serial file. <laughs> I'm typing it. That's the first one. Serial file organization. Serial file organization. No, when you are for this one, when you as you store the records in the file, you don't follow any order. You don't follow any or any order. So for you to obtain the record from, from the file, you have to scroll both forward and the password is in the mark and mouse. So in the serial management, the records in a file do not follow. In a particular order, they do not follow a particular order. For you to obtain a certain record, you have to scroll both forward and forward and backward. You have to scroll both forward and forward and back and backward. That is what you call a file organization. Yeah. And most 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 organizations they do not use this video. Together, why? They do not use it. It is not efficient. So what are the advantages of having this uh, organization method? The first one is less expensive. You can use the magnetic tape and you know what I'm Another advantage is simply implement. Simply implement. implement. And now the limitations outweighs the advantages. The limitation outweighs all the advantages. Why? One of the disadvantages of having this method, it is able to waste out of space. It occupies out of space, out of space. That is one limitation. Still, another limitation. It is cumbersome to access because you have to access all the processing records before retrieving the one being being searched. It's cumbersome to access because you have to access all the proceeding records before accessing the record you want. You want. So it may take out of time. These are the major limitations of having what the CDU organization method. Then there is the improvement of the CDU. The result is called the sequential record. What is what we call the sequential file organization method? We have the sequential file organization method from the word sequence or sequence. So, Samuel, maybe you can explain to us now this method from the word sequence. Maybe just maybe try to guess, Samuel. Any information about this method, Samuel? Someone need information about the sequential? Need information?
So when the sequential then the file, they are stored in a whole in a particular order. We must be having the order. So the records can be stored in either a setting or what or a setting or order. The information of the records of the file, they can be stored in what in a certain particular order, either descending or ascending or ascending order. That is what we call a sequential finalization method. And one of the advantages of having this method, the sorting makes it very easy to access the records. You can sort the records very, very well, either by ascending or by descending. But now it has some limitations. It has some, some limited limitations. So once you are, once, for example, in case you delete a certain file, in case you delete a certain file, it may take a lot of time to access the next file. Why? That file has to be update, updated. It has to be updated. That is that is the main problem. Still, some, some of these methods or the sequential records cannot support modern technologies. They cannot support these technologies that require fast access to the records. They cannot support these old techno technologies. And still, the sorting does not remove the need to access those other, other records. The sorting does not remove the need to what to access those other, other records. That is what you call the sequential finalization method. Then, there's an important of the sequential, that is what you call the index sequential. That is what we call the index sequential. The index. The index sequential. The index sequential. Now, the sequential, sequential, they are the same. But the main difference between these two, for this one, an index is provided to speed up for the search. An index is provided to load what? The information here is organized in a certain order, in a certain order, either by deciding or by as a as it is called. Then the last method is what called the lateral. We have the lateral file organization method. We have the lateral file organization method. And we had discussed the lateral process method. So for this one, the records are not organized in any particular order. The records are not organized in any particular order. But what happens here, a key field is provided. A key field is provided to help in the work in the search. I think, for example, if we have some website. In case you want to obtain certain information, there's a search field. You just put a certain keyword, you present, uh, then the information is retrieved from the work from the database. So that website, that organization, this is what the LADOM by organization method. We have said that the information is not kept in a certain order. What happens if it is provided to help you in the search? Like, for example, like the Google search, this is what the LADOM that I'm through with the, the, the four methods. Any question? Any question, right? Does it? Yeah, yes, I can, for the sake of Samuel, I can repeat the index sequential. Now we have said for the index sequential, an index is provided to help in the word in the feed in what on that index is provided to help in the word in access what the information at a faster rate. An index is provided to help in the search. So this index sequential is faster than what the sequence sequential, and still the information is organized sequentially either by ascending or descending. That is what you call an index sequential. This is provided in the search. Any other question? Comes any question? Let us any question?
and it is this is not having another question maybe we can discuss the last part for today the factors to consider when selecting the final organization method factors consider when selecting the factors to consider when selecting the final organization method. The first factor is what we call cost. You have cost. You have to use the you have to use the method which is what let's expect expensive. You have you have to use the method which is cost effective to the organization. For example, Ladom method is what very very expensive. So the organization can decide to use what sequen sequential. So the first factor is cost. You have to use a method which is cost effective for the organization. Then there is what we call application area. The first is cost. The second is what we call application. Yeah, the second application area. And you want to use this file. You want, you want to use it for open purposes or for what? For any purposes. In the case now, you want to use this file for online purposes. You have to use what we call the lad of access me method. In the case you want to do this this way for what for only purposes. But in the case now you want to use this method for all I mean, purposes. Oh, me the in the case you want to use this method for open purposes, you can use what you call the C the C D. But I've said for online you have to use what you call the lad of that is the whole the second factor. Then the other factor is what you call the file. The next factor is what we call the file volatility, or what we call that frequency of updates. For example, in case you want to, you, or in case you update that file regularly, or in case you delete that file regularly, you cannot use what we call the index sequential. In case you update that regularly, or you that record regularly, you cannot use what index sequential. And the reason for that, once you delete an index, it will take a lot of time to create what a new index. That needs to be updated in our system. Has to use a method like what, like the last the random. That is what we call it. So that is updating, updating what after a file. Then another factor is what we call the file activity. The file active activity. We have file activity. There, we have what we call the file active activity. Different files have what different acti activities. For example, a sort file is used to sort the data in a sequential order. It's used to sort the data in a sequential order. And therefore, sequential method is very, very appropriate for that. That is what you call file acti activity. And you have said in case you're having a you want to sort a file, you can use what you call sequential me mechanism. You are organizing the data according to a particular word or order by setting out the file activity, activity. Then there is what we call the file access method. See another factor file access me method. Different files have different methods of being accessed. Different files have what have different methods of being accessed. For example, a reference file can be accessed either randomly or the code sequentially. This file can be accessed what either randomly by typing what a certain key you want, or still you can access that reference file by using what sequential method. Still, another factor is what we call the nature of the system. We have the nature of the system. Have the nature of the system. That's factor. We have. The nature of the system. The files that are used in a particular system will depend on the nature of the system. The files that are used in a particular system will depend on the nature of the system. To so me, for example, maybe in this organization, the files being supported can be accessed to either randomly 
or the files being supported in that organization cannot be accessed or sequen sequentially. Or still, maybe the files in that organization are not really usable. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
You are currently the only person in this conference. You are currently the only person in this conference. 